What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoon. Today I'm going to show you how to draw the feet. Not much to talk about intro wise, so let's just jump right into it. So when I draw the feet, I like to go as like a wedge shape. So let's just draw a wedge. And then make a couple lines coming up that wedge for a portion of the leg. And then a little portion right here, like a little letter C for the ankle. Okay, and then coming towards the end of the wedge, the sharp end of it, we're going to kind of make a rectangular prism at the end of it for the toes. Okay, so here are the guidelines that we're going to use. So, let me just erase that just a little bit so we can use them as a guide. Okay, so now let me grab my pencil. So let's actually, so before we actually draw the toes, I'm going to take this shape and divide it into gradually getting smaller. So before I actually get into drawing the toes, I'm going to divide this shape into five pieces. But the five pieces that I divided into, they're not going to be equal because the big toe is obviously a different size than the pinky toe. So for this process, you got to kind of self-determine the sizes of each toe. But the easy part about it is it'll gradually get smaller coming towards this end. So right here I have three, this is the big toe, and this is the next one, then the next one, and then the pinky toe will be the smallest. So it's pretty easy to determine, not very hard. Okay, so now we're going to take my, so now I'm going to take my pencil, and then I'm going to follow the lines of the rectangular prism, And I'm going to go around that rectangular prism shape. Like down here where this point is, I'm going to make a curve going around there. And then connect back to the foot. And that's how all of the toes are going to work. Except only on the big toe. So like here's the next toe. Second biggest. So we're not going to see much of this on the other toes. And keep in mind, they are going to gradually get smaller. And then the pinky toe will kind of just hang off. Not exactly, but just so we can see it at least a little bit. So now we got the rest of the toe to draw. I mean, before we stop drawing the toes, you can draw some toenails if you like. Just like uh, semicircle shaped windows on a castle type look, if that makes sense. Okay, and then coming off of this big toe, we're actually going to make a line coming up. As if this foot is in a high heel shoe, something like that. But probably not all the way up high like this, sort of like an incline like this. That was probably a bad example, but... In other words, do this. Okay, and then you see where we drew this ankle here? I'm actually draw that in. So right here where the leg is, right at that ankle, we're gonna begin to make the heel. And then we're gonna curve back into the foot like so. And then the rest of the leg is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, and you see how we drew this line here? We're going to kind of match that line with the bridge of the foot, which is this line up here. But it's okay if it's a little off. Because the foot also has some muscle to it. That bridge isn't exactly straight like the wedge we drew from the beginning. 
it's not exactly straight so it's okay if it isn't it just has to kind of closely match this line but it doesn't exactly have to match the line either and then we can come back up and make the rest of the leg And there we got one foot now let me draw another foot as if you're looking directly at it or the bottom of your foot so the shapes that we drew for this foot we're not going to pay attention to any of that it's a completely different shape so for this one this shape is kind of hard to explain so hmm. I think this one has sort of like an S curve and then this one, it looks like a parenthesis. And then to connect those shapes at the bottom, we're just gonna use like a letter U shape. But we're gonna make this side of the foot a little bit longer than this side. And then we're gonna draw a sort of like a straight line, but it's gonna be curved. So we can connect to this side. Now, and now since it looks like it's had a three quarter view, we're just gonna draw like a little center line. And now we're gonna make some guidelines for the toes. So on this side, we're actually gonna come up and make like a portion of the big toe. And then we're gonna continue that line to the end. but it's also gonna be shorter on this side because the pinky toe is on this side. And again, it's a lot different in size compared to the big toe. Okay, and then I'm gonna divide that into five pieces. So we're pretty much gonna draw the toes, but we're gonna, we can provide details to them later. So here's the big toe. Here's the second biggest toe. The third one, the fourth, and the fifth. And keep in mind, they're also going to decrease in size. So they're going to gradually get smaller. Okay. So those are our guidelines. So let me take my eraser and just erase them. So they're not completely gone. Okay. So I'm going to start on this side this time. And we're actually gonna make this kind of curve, but but unlike what we did with the guidelines, it's actually gonna come inward towards the foot. Then the bottom portion of it will be a whole separate line. And I'll show you why in a second. And then this entire curve didn't change, so we're gonna draw that in too. And then use a letter U shape to connect those two lines at the bottom. And then using our center line, we can add a few details to the foot. So now it kind of looks like two balloon shapes, like one balloon here and the other right here. So that's why I made this line look the way it does now. Okay, and now all that's left to do are the toes. So we're gonna start off with the big toe because it's the biggest, so it's the easiest. Okay, and then for the rest of the toes, it's gonna be a little bit different. So instead of going down here where this line is, where the big toe lies, we're actually gonna make some circles like so. And then the rest of it will then 
curve onto that line. Hopefully that makes sense, but here's a visual. So that's what we're gonna do with the other toes. So it's not gonna look 100% like the guidelines, but it'll look somewhat identical. And keep in mind that there's still gonna decrease in size coming towards the pinky toe. And then, speaking of which, that's the last one. And then when we finish the pinky toe, it's gonna curve down and make this curve that we made from the beginning. And then I'm just gonna draw a line to show where the toes rest are resting on. And actually, I might change that about the big toe too. Let's see how the big toe would look if I did that. Actually, that looks pretty good too. Let me just add a few wrinkles underneath this big circle. Show some detail. You can do the same if you want to. All right. And that's how you draw feet. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I can't let it like